Wow, that is one determined baby sea turtle. On a beach right after hatching, that would be called a crawling frenzy. In a lab, on a little treadmill made from a belt sander, it's a test of stamina. Researchers want to know if more time spent crawling leaves the turtles tired when they reach the sea. Sea turtles hatch at night. In an ideal world, they scrabble down the beach toward the horizon over the water. It's brighter than the horizon over land. Then they swim for up to a day to get to the Gulf Stream. That's in an ideal world with no city lights. If they're on Florida's Atlantic coast, say near Boca Raton, there are lots of competing light sources. Many hatchlings get confused and just wander around, or they head straight for a bright building away from the sea. To test whether this extra wandering tired the babies out, researchers took 150 loggerhead and green sea turtle hatchlings to the lab and set them to crawling. Lured by a light at the front of the treadmill, they moved more than 500 yards, pausing now and then to rest. They could have given the turtles a longer trek, except for one thing. It just took so long that the turtle could do it, but the graduate student couldn't. After the treadmill, the turtles hit the pool, swimming in a small tank. To everyone's surprise, they were just fine. Tests of blood and respiration showed that the babies were not tired out by the crawling. All those stops left them in good shape, but the lights are still a problem. Every extra minute on the beach leaves the babies exposed to predators, raccoons, foxes, birds. And if they're still on the beach when the sun comes up, they're cooked. All of this is why Dr. Milton was pretty irritated by one particular house. It made me want to leave a note on their door. Hi, you are personally responsible for the disorientation of 60 turtles last night. So, Boca Raton residents, and this means you, douse that light.